and I got this idea because I got my bike here and I capture the foot. Yeah, I want to have a little play. So we're going to have a little play of that and I might come up with some other ideas to do during the week with the green screen because we've got it. So we might as well use it. Let's have a look. Green screen, got it up. Had the chair in, just done a few test samples because I haven't done it in a while. I need to experiment and just check on the lighting to make sure we got it right. Uh, it is a chroma green, so it should be okay. We're gonna do one with the bike now. And that's enough footage to do the test with. So let's see if it's worked. Yes, I know my hands weren't on the bike handlebars. That's the whole point of it. Um, I could have just had a camera on my chest and been out there doing that if that was the case. And that's not what I wanted to get across. I wanted to try and experiment. Um, it's always good to experiment. Okay, so after playing around with the green screen the other day, I actually decided that we need to do something a bit more. So it was good what we did, a nice little experiment, but we've actually got work a bit up with it now, so we need to pop on. So we're gonna build green screen there, and yeah, let's get to it. Yeah, it's a little bit creased. It's where the steamer comes in. So this is the green screen setup that we just did. Slight difference on that time lots we had a cloth, replaced it with paper, because it was just too creased. Although I was on it out, oh, couldn't be bothered. So we replaced it. We've turned the main lights off now. So we've got these little side lights. We've got these little lights here at the side. So they're shining down because I wanted to have my feet in the picture. Eey! And I wanted them cut out. Um, and there wasn't enough light on this green. We've got LED panels coming into the side there. I could have gone and got the fluorescent lights and brought them down, didn't. Um, too lazy, mm, me. But nonetheless, works, works really well. Height was obviously an issue, getting the height set up. Um, but that's fine when you've got rolls of paper to do that on. Settings, so if you're gonna have a play with this, Obviously you need to work out, because if we've got motion, people are moving their hands around, or you're running or doing stuff, you've got to weigh up the motion that you put into this. So where we would shoot at double, 180 degree they class it as, but double the frame rate. So if we're shooting at 25 frames, we're gonna have a shutter speed of 50. That's great, but actually, that makes that motion not so sharp and it's very difficult to get the green between the two and that's a problem um, or can be a problem so you can up your shutter speed 200 something like that but you need to make sure your lights cope with that and that gives a crisper cleaner image and it's great for presentations or something like that because you don't have to worry about motion so much if you see the hand move it just is we're not really worried about making it that cinematic look. So it depends what you're shooting. Obviously, if we're going to be cinematic, we're going to have this green screen perfect. Not what we've got here at the moment in that sense, but we're not shooting for that. So different things for depending on what you're trying to shoot. But yeah, have a little play yourself. It'll be interesting to see. Green screen is quite cheap nowadays to get. It's just lighting it well. Go outside. Use it outside if you have to. It's always good light outside as long as it's not raining. Hope you liked that little look into a green screen and I really hope that you go ahead and try some of that. Go and get some paper off the internet, the little pop-up stands, put some links down below to some uh, that are really good. Give it a try for yourself. If you do, put a link to your video down below. I'd love to see those and then I can give a comment on as well. Uh, it'd be great to see what you do with it. Look forward to seeing you in the next one.